Still going strong by chemistry people? Problem number three. Solid calcium carbonate, also known as limestone, will decompose upon heating to produce solid calcium oxide, also known as lime, an industrial chemical with a wide variety of uses, Ooh. and carbon dioxide gas. How many grams of calcium carbonate must be decomposed to produce 5.00 liters of carbon dioxide gas at STP. Note that volume ratios do not apply here because calcium carbonate is a solid. Super important. Okay, before we start this problem, I need a balanced chemical equation and I need to bust out my nomenclature skills. Calcium carbonate is gonna decompose upon heating to produce solid calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Okay, now lucky for us, the coefficients are all ones, which means the relationships between, the mole relationships between these things are all one to one to one. I'm always gonna start with the amount that I'm given, in this case, 5.00 liters of CO2. Now, the very first thing I'm gonna do here is convert my liters of CO2 to moles of CO2. I have to do that here because now I'm comparing a gas to a solid. And the volume ratios only apply when both of the things that we're comparing are gases and they're both measured at the same temperatures and pressures. So because we're at STP, one mole is 22.4 liters. If I stopped right here, I would solve for moles of CO2, but I need to keep going because I'm looking for grams of calcium carbonate. I'll put moles of CO2 on the bottom here and go to moles of calcium carbonate. Here, the relationship is one to one. Again, an important step so that I get my units of mole CO2 to cancel out. And then my final conversion factor is gonna get me from moles of calcium carbonate to grams of calcium carbonate. The molar mass of calcium carbonate is about 100 grams coming from my periodic table. So I'm gonna use my calculator here and work through this problem sort of one step at a time. In fact, we have approximately 0.223 or about a quarter of a mole, I would say. So 0 0.223 moles CO2, which means that I will need about the same number of moles, 0 0.223, of calcium carbonate because the relationship is a one-to-one -one relationship. Finally, to get to mass in grams, I multiply that by 100 and by 1. So in the lab, if I wanted to get 5 liters of carbon dioxide produced, assuming 100% yield, I would need to start with 22.3 grams of calcium carbonate. Boom! Stoichiometry! Never going away!